Okay, my name's Mr. Haynes. Um, I'm head of maths at Gable Hall School, and this is a summary of the lecture um, that we did today on trigonometry of non right angle triangles. Um, so, at the beginning of the lesson, if you like, you started off by knowing. So Katoa, which is applied to non-right angle triangles. So you were at a stage where you knew the free ratios to apply to not uh, to right angle triangles and apply that to find missing sides and missing angles. Okay, we then looked at the proof of something called the sine rule. And if you look at how we proved the sine rule, we started by taking a triangle um, that was non-right angled. Okay, and then we split it up by taking a perpendicular from one of the points and calculating this height of this triangle, looking at the two angles, basically equating two sine ratios of right angle triangles we then repeated the process by dropping a perpendicular from any of the other two points and we ended up with a sine rule which is sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. We then looked at how to apply that to um, triangles to find missing lengths and in future lessons that will be continued to take it further into finding missing angles. We also looked at how um, these questions could be linked into other topics at GCSE so we looked at how trigonometry questions would be linked into angles of elevation, um, bearings, Pythagoras theorem. We also, if you like, key points to remember for the examination were to make sure that your calculator was set in the correct mode. It needs to be set into degrees. We also looked at um, making sure that you cut out all the words and actually just go for the numbers and the maths part that you needed in the exam to highlight key words. Um, to not confuse this with trigonometry of right angle triangles to make sure that if a question involves right angle triangles you don't apply an A and A star topic to a B grade question um, and I suppose the final thing that we looked at was making sure that you read the question checking the accuracy that the question requires so if it says three significant figures you actually give your final answer to three significant figures.